just love the cadence of that. Hold up, wait a second. As I am editing this video, I see that I'm kind of tired and uh, my voice sounds raspy. And here's the truth, I just came from a week of not feeling too, too great. I lost my voice yesterday. Still have sort of a cold, so bear with me in this vlog. Hey, what's up? This is laid back Luke, DJ and producer. Kung Fu athlete and dedicated dad. Finally back with another DJ tutorial and it's a part two of this vlog that I made four years ago. This vlog was so well received, but there's so much you can do with just the simple fact that you can fade from a zero volume to 100% volume, right? So many techniques, we will be diving into some hip hop techniques later. How do you exactly complement the music with some of your fader cuts? I'm gonna talk to you about the reinvention of the crossfader. It's been a while, so I'll be happy to show all of this on my new setup. In the old vlog, all the fader cuts were dry. Let's dive into some fader cuts with effects right now. Number one, using effects on the fader. Here's my track, my new release with John Varela called Hit It Back. Let's listen to it for a moment. So now obviously you can cut into this track like this. What if we add some echo to this? So here we go, tip number one, using effects on the fader. So the first echo I'm gonna use is the one beat echo, and the one beat echo sounds like this. So like it says, the echo goes one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. This comes in handy with a very slow fader cut wherever on the beat you desire. So let's go. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. So you get this really playful signal while you are doing a relative slow fader cut. Now let's set the echo on half a beat. And you can start cutting a little bit faster on this. First of all, a half beat sounds like this. So that's right in between the beat, right? So now you could adapt your cuts to this. And actually, you don't even need to go that fast. Cutting on half a beat will actually really work on the next echo I wanna show you, on the one-third beat echo. Sounds like this. So it's interesting, this one might sound a bit messy, but it actually kind of functions as a buildup. And so you could use this in your fader cuts as well. So that's almost like a techno kick type of pattern. So when you double up the fader speed over here, it really sounds like a buildup. And overall, this effects works really well when doing buildups. All the fader techniques mentioned in this vlog are for my personal use, ones that I personally love using, and I would love for you to try some of these out just to experiment with it and see where it fits in your DJ sets. Tip number two right here, the tribal cut. But this could also be a mumbaton or a reggaeton type of cut because we be cutting like So that type of pattern in Ableton, it would look like this on the beat grid. And so it goes on the one, on the 16th of the one you cut it and then it comes back on the upbeat of the two. Speaking of musical terms, I'll just use this track, put it in a loop. And then we'll add the other track on top of it, yeah? Okay, let's do cut. Wherever you hear the beat, where there's plenty of drums in there, you really hear the cuts. Hear that? Boom, 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 boom. There we go, the tribal cuts, relatively safe, fun to listen to, and good to experiment with. Tip number three, finding musical patterns. I can always recommend you to actually listen to the track you are cutting to, and then actually base your fader pattern on that track. Try and cut with it. 
Okay, so let's listen to this next track, which is more of like a techno disco type of track. So I'm hearing. And so now I have this pattern in mind based on the track that is playing. And on the first channel, I have this white noise loop going. And I'm gonna do that pattern to the beat. Oftentimes I see people online, people cutting like mad, like which I call the machine gun types of cuts. A shout out to all the people that can cut in a 16 for as long as you want. But if we're thinking about the music, if we're thinking about the people dancing, sometimes it's really nice to actually cut to the music as well and piece all of that together. And so with this tip, I want you to keep an ear out on the music that's playing and adjust your pattern to the music and to the vibes. Number four, the no kick drum fade and the yes kick drum fade. Basically the no kick drum fade takes out every kick drum. And as you've seen in this vlog and the prior vlog, counting is essential. So when you count one, two, three, four, you just take it out on a one, two, three, four. So the fader goes down two, three, four, whenever you count. Let's listen to that right now. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You just heard it, right? When I was done cutting, the kick drum came back in. And what's most powerful on the dance floor is obviously when you take the bass EQ out because all the bass signals are gone, the kick drum is gone. But we have a similar effect when we do this. Now it's really important you keep count, but you could also have the track in your ear or on your headphone where you can actually still hear the kick drum and then just take it out, take it out take it out. If you're liking me explaining all of these fader techniques, make sure to hit me with a like and hit that subscribe button right now as well. Notification bell, don't forget. And I would love to hear your feedback. Another DJ tutorial. It's been ages. Would you want to hear more? What do you want to see? Make sure to leave it down in the comments below. Plenty more techniques to come. Make sure you stay tuned. Let's get back into the vlog. So similar, the yes kick drum fade is opposite to that, where you count one, two, three, four, but now the fader goes up. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So you only have the kick drum sounding whenever you do these cuts. It will sound like this. One, two, three, four, one, two. And there we go again. So a similar type of effect, but both are opposite from each other and just fun techniques to know and to keep in your back pocket for whenever you hit a dance floor, they're up for some tricks, you are up for some tricks and try and experiment with that. Tip number five, here we go. My favorite fader cut ever. Utilizing the crossfade, doing a hip hop pattern. I've been doing this for years and actually I've never come around to explain it. Today is the day. So what I think is interesting in hip hop cuts, they often use a one third type of pattern where it offsets everything a little bit. So in my head, this crossfader cut goes bump, 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 da da dun dun da da dun Dun, 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 da, da, dun, dun, da, da, dun. That is the pattern. And so actually that's just something you need to practice very slowly. So I'm gonna put the tempo down. Okay, we're on a 74.6 BPM. How about that? I just love the cadence of that. Some of my favorite techno DJs, shout out Dave Clark. I think he was the one that always did this. Practice this slow and then get your speed up and up and up so that at a certain point, you'll be able to do this full speed. And obviously you could go crazy with that as well at a certain point. And the last one here, tip number six, the crossfader reinvented. Let's talk about AI because AI is being infused in my DJ system. And no, you won't be able to do this on the flagship system. I don't think the players have the actual memory capacity that's inside my phone currently to be able to pull this off. The amazing thing is that my app DJ Pro AI 
came out with a version 5 recently and they infused it with AI. Now this is a very abstract concept, right? But the amazing thing, and shout out to DJ Angelo who is phenomenal, they reinvented the crossfader. What does that mean? I will show you right here. Let me turn this thing on. Crossfader FX is on right now and we have it on EQ mode. So before I let you listen to this, you just gotta see this. I will show you the EQs right here. This is the track to the right. Pay attention to the EQs. So now all I'm gonna do is transition the crossfader from, from the right to the left and look at what the EQs are doing. So it EQs everything for you until you hit the other side of the mix. And this is what I mean with the future of DJing. I don't need to touch the EQs, it just happens. Now, let's listen to it and let's hear how this sounds. That's a pretty solid mix, I'd say. And so it's wild, we're here at this time where software can do this for you. Now stay with me, where it gets really interesting is a question that a lot of you are asking all the time, how do you do BPM transitions? I've made quite the tutorials about it, but now the simple answer is AI can do this for you. And here is where the magic happens. We have a track on the left side that's 150 BPM, and we're going to the original BPM of the right side, which is 134 BPM. And what you need to do is just pay attention from the one track to the other. Mind the BPMs here. And that's it. You just slide the crossfader from the left to the right, it does the EQing for you, it also does the BPM for you. And let's just get freaky with it for a moment, just so you can hear the power of this. 134, 150, 134, 150. Tempo changes are as simple as this right now. I feel a conversation sparking because I can also understand that this is tempo blasphemy. How about that? So leave it down in the comments below and let's discuss. AI has arrived in DJ. What do you think? I've said it before and I say it again. The future of real DJing is right here. And DJ tutorials. I've made plenty. Make sure to check out my In My Mind series as well. But go ahead and just search on YouTube, Laid Back Luke DJ Tutorial, and plenty will show up. And oh, the news I have for you for coming vlogs. Well, actually, you saw it on my social media yesterday already, right? I've been at NAMM and I've been showing off my new unit, the Mixtor Pro, and I can't wait to make a video with this. The features are incredible because uh, I helped develop this and ooh, you're in for a treat. So make sure to hit that like button, subscribe right now, hit that notification bell as well to not miss out. Thank you so much for tuning in. It was great to see you again. It was great to make a tutorial again. And I will catch you back here for the next one. Until then, L's up, rave safely, and salute.